Uh, Kevin in your class? Mm -hmm. No, it's just a dream. Of oh, you had a dream? Mm -hmm. I got a dream about it when I was in the car. Guess what? Huh? They have space! <laughs> Yay! I guess what? No, I'm not laughing. Yeah. What was the dream about? Tell me. Um, It was about um my classmate. Oh, what's the classmate name? Mm -hmm. um, Kevin, um, he got so hair like this. Mm -hmm. Like that, and then... And then um, someone else, mm -hmm. I think, come up. Um, then I tell her, then she got a, this one, one like this on the floor. Over here? Then, yeah, and then another one, then another one on the floor. She got a, these buns over here, I think. And I think she, she oh no, she got a, this sort here. Mm. Um, and then she just got it this one. Then, then she just got it these beads like our hair. Oh, yeah? She got it different beads though, but but the same amount, um, the same size of it and the same cut as it. Mm -hmm. But not the same beads. But she didn't have the same eyes as us or the earrings. Oh. And then someone else waved, and then everyone waved, and then the class said. And and then the teacher said, Miss Sella said, uh, everyone pay attention and then and then that's the end. Mm -hmm. And then you guys um what time Quinn said if if you call it Miss Sella, um it'll be a boy. And that's not a boy name. Mm -hmm. If you call it Miss Sella, it's a girl name, and that's not a girl name. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. If you okay. call it boy seller, you'll get a boy. Okay. All right. I, I got it. So, guys, um, y'all just heard Kara talking about she had a dream that she was in school, guys. It's like a part of me just ripping, like ripping, not in a negative way, but like it just like yo dog your daughter supposed to be in star school, but guys, the car she was y'all know she was in a school and um because of the corona. When he just launched it last year and all of that stuff. Um, my wife and I, we decided that we we're going to pull her from school because, you know, wifey was pregnant. And when we just started hearing about the corona, they were talking about attack pregnant people this much and kids and all that stuff. So we want, um, we were like, um, you know what, I'm going to pull the kids. We don't want him to catch a corona and all of that stuff. So when we did that, we lost our spot in the school. So when... The kids now at the, you know, Jene and Amila, they're doing online classes. So I didn't like their progress online. So I decided, you know, I'm going to do them face to face. But as a Kyra, she lost her spot and the school didn't have any more space. The other schools in the area, they are further out. There's one school that she could go, but for me, it's like a daycare. I'm not going to pay for daycare. Like, meaning like, I'm not going to pay for my daughter to go to school, but it's, like you're she's not learning anything she's just sitting there with other kids and then i was like you know maybe i should do that because at, at least she'll get to socialize with other kids you know but in the corona they still got to do the distance thing and all that stuff so i just want i know that kara is so smart guys i just want her to start learning something versus just go to a little spot where kids leave where parents leave their kids because they ain't got time or because they have to go to work and there's no one to watch a kid and if both parents are here and we can watch our kids, then let's do that, you know. And the only good thing about that part of it is the socializing with other kids. So that's what I think Kara wants. She always talk about imaginary friends. Oh, my friend is this and all that stuff. So it kind of heat me up. But I don't know how to explain it because it's not negative and I'm, I'm not rushing it. But it's like part of me want. I don't know how to explain, guys. I swear to God. I hope you all understand what I'm trying to say, you know. But it's, 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 it's not in a negative manner you know but um so i'm gonna go back to the school and see if there's anyone who withdrew or any space there for her if not let's hope there's a space i don't know for some reason i think there's a space like god is telling me that yo, you know so i'm gonna try to get her out of the school i want her to start big school now where she can start learning things and not just a bunch of kids sitting because parents are too busy with your jobs and all of that stuff, you know? Yeah. And I um, think I'm going to go sign up Quinn for the gymnastics. You know, like I'm telling you that, guys, but the corona kind of make me not do it. 
But I'm doing it today. I'm doing all of that today. I'm not even joking. Yo, guys, I told you this. Anything you want in life, pray for it and believe it, guys. I swear to God. Anything. Let me give you a rundown before I give you the story. Yo, I prayed that I wanted to live in America. And it happened. I prayed that I wanted to join the military. And it happened. I prayed that I wanted a scholarship. And I got it. In J in, From St. Diego days, come right to college. I got it. Yo, my life is always like, God is always by my side. My father always said, don't say you're lucky. Say you're blessed. You understand me? Like, my, my guys... Let me tell you something. I don't even know how my school fee used to, get, used to get paid or would be paid. You understand me? And every semester, God find a way to get the pay. Either somebody paid for my mother, either I got a scholarship through karate, either something happened. You understand me? Either the part program come through. And I'm saying all of this because I'm excited. And I remember, guys, listen part of the video I just told you before I leave out. I was like, yo, this feeling that I feel is like I just, my daughter, she don't, she don't want to be at the house. She want to go to school. She want to, you know, and guys like it just feels good. Yo, this part of uh, parenting, it's, it's challenging. But when it comes on to getting the work done, it's like it's a warm feeling, guys. Like, I don't know why me I get all emotional, but for just, you know, but so let me tell the story. So my, God, my daughter was going to this um, school. She had into this VPK program that's going on you know i wanted to get into to like a, a school school where she could learn so you know i was saying but i also wanted her to you know yeah so the the they have two locations and the location i keep going to they keep saying yo they're full they're full and then i was like oh didn't they told me a long time ago they had a second location so i went back to the first location they say oh i'm sorry we ain't got a space but i was like oh about the next location it was like okay let me try and i was like my daughter used to come here she woke me up this morning saying she had a dream about school and all of that stuff so you know me i'm impatient the lady said all right i'm gonna call it at a location she seemed very nice she did call but i was like i'm an impatient guy like i don't like wait on people to get things done so what i did I was like, you know what, I'm going to come in the car and I'm going to call the other location myself. Or I'm going to drive down there, find the address and drive down there. And as I called, she was like, yo, I just got off the phone with the lady from the other location. She just called about your daughter. And I was like, damn, she kept her word and I appreciate that. And then it was like, you know what, we might be able to take your daughter. If you get everything done today, she could start Monday. So, yo. I'm going to do all, like, all that I have to do right now so she could start and so she could come back and tell me what day was and tell me, yo, daddy, I can't wake up. I'm there. It's too early, you know. But whatever it is, she going to get into it, you know. So I'm happy, you know. And guys, I told you this. Every time I have these feelings, when I'm going to do anything, it's always successful. You understand me? This fe the feeling I had, that's why I said to you guys, I just feel like she's going to get in, you know. And I don't take no for an answer, guys. This is what I always do. No is never an answer for me. No is an answer when it is actually no. But not yo, me too determined, man. Like that's my that's my best qualities. You know, that's my best quality. But I'm happy. I kind of feel good. Me I'll give Kyra the news. You know, me I'll tell her, yo, guess what? You know, should I wait though? What if me go tell her and then something? No. Nah. God now nah, do that. God done. Yeah, me have to tell her. I'm going to tell mommy too. I'm going to tell my wife because I know she wants to, to hear this. Guys, I'm excited, man. Parenting is nice at times, you know. Not at times. It's a sad job and it's, I don't know, man. But I'm happy. I'm happy I was able to do this and yeah, you know. So stay tuned. May I drive going to the house now. I'm going to turn it on Kyra and tell her, guess what? You could start school Monday. Yeah. I don't know how far the other location is, but I'll take her every morning. You know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. Did it have to space? Huh? Did it have some space? If I had what? Did it have some space? Did they have some space? What you think? It's good. Um, yeah, I think you wouldn't see coming. You couldn't wait for me to get here, don't it? Come here. Come here, give me a hug. Come here, give me a hug. Guess what? Huh? They have space. <laughs> Yay! I guess No, I'm not lying. Okay, it's for real. Come on, let's go to the school. No, 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 you can't start today. I got to turn in some paperwork. You're going to start Monday. 
It's good though, but you're gonna start Monday. I'll ask her if you could start tomorrow. How about that? Okay, um, I'll ask her if you could start tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just tomorrow. Okay. Daddy. Well, mommy. So I'm gonna get Kyra in a school. TikTok star. <laughs> hey, oh you feel that Kyra has that school. That's great. You look excited, like. Then you see every day you come at him with me and make Kyra go to school. But one more school day. <laughs> <laughs> so you say I try to get rid of all of them and one still there. Yeah, I say I go to school, yeah? I go to school. Just she cock up. Yo, that cock up thing that lock up her foot there for me, please. Don't, she can't teach her them things. Right, think good ready for you. Good you ready for food now, you ready for your food. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, so guys, Kyra go go school guys and now it's a good feeling to me. Me, me, me just want she you know, she she been a tell me so she wanna go to school and you know all things there, so last year she started before COVID and she she Kyra only goes to school maybe for six weeks. If so long or mm -hmm. one month. And then she stopped in February. Mm -hmm. Remember cause COVID get or early March. Mm -hmm. COVID gets serious in a March I so. Mm. Yeah. So she stopped the time. Yeah. And so she have her friends, them all of them something. So she have her friends, them all of them. She will go back to school because her friends <laughs> and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys. I don't know. I'm not gonna stop calling you. You crazy? <laughs> You put that in my chest. You think I'm going to stop calling you? I know you ain't going to stop calling me. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> you see the baby in the side of you. Where Don't play with you. me. <laughs> From what the yard calf calf. Yo, you know me, I bring you to them fling through your nose and test you. <laughs> Nothing wrong with me, my love. Me solid as a rock. You don't know. You ever do a test from your day? You know, I'm a boy. From me do COVID test, me sick. You realize? Me not tap, sneeze, and catch cold. From there, should be sitting up in my nose. And I'm really such, put you up there too. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong one, they make give me COVID test. <laughs> Jesus. Melissa. <laughs> you know my well, last name? Eh? Me, me can't say it for the life. For the, if so. Eh? You know when she <laughs> But don't she seem nice though? She's too nice. Yeah, anyway, um, oh, I have something to talk about. Like, I have something to talk about. What up? I think I need that for a video by itself. Yeah? Alright, then you want me to get the camera? Wait there. Downstairs. Alright, guys, we're we going to end this and make sure you make a video because it seems like it's important. You, so you, want, you want here too? Mm -hmm. No, yeah, go watch it. Me edit the one here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, Kyra's going back to school, so mm -hmm. anybody on here, uh, kids start back to school, or you know, what's the feeling? Because I'm nervous, very, 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 very nervous, especially that we have a newborn baby, so mm -hmm. but you know. Guys, she never for it, but me have a push feed to see me come on. I can't have her, you know? Them understand. Them there. Don't touch me, Corona. <laughs> <laughs> so they kind of understand. We kind of teach them yeah. how, you know, how the thing I run. And mm -hmm. gotta be extra. Even him. When we come in our house, then we say, Mommy, you're clean, Daddy, you're clean. Because they know if we go up on the road or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like I always say, don't touch, ask first. Don't just come run and ugly up. Mm -hmm. So we just have to pray over them. And that's what's up. Mm. So yeah, guys, big up on yourself. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Baby Olivia awake, you see it. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, we out.